This is a case where we plan to do a femto laser with a toric IOL placement, but the required toricity of the IOL was not available. We were getting a lower powered toricity than required. So we decided to use the IntelliAxis and also Flax clear corneal incisions to compensate for the lower astigmatic IOL available for us. You will notice that the free floating capsule rexis has been removed and now I proceed to open the clear corneal incisions which will ensure the complete effect of relaxing incision onto the cornea. This opening ensures that whatever undercorrected dial was available for me has been compensated by these arcuate clear corneal incisions. We proceed by doing FACO in this particular case. We aim in the principal axis of the linear incisions created by the femtolaser machine. Small fragments are removed and as you notice the central core of the cataract is slightly harder than the peripheral core but the best part is the fragmentation and the softening of the cataract done by the Lenza machine has made it very easy and we were able to do this particular case with using 10 FACO power. Now we proceed to do irrigation aspiration. Irrigation aspiration in a case of femto laser at times can be tricky especially in the sub incisional area which we will demonstrate because of a lack of approach and slightly sticky cortex which is cut flush with the capsule rexis as the femto surgery is done. Sometimes when this sticky cortex with sub incisional area is difficult to get hold of, it is a good idea to shift to a bimanual irrigation aspiration and remove this. So we proceed and convert to a bimanual irrigation aspiration and remove this remaining cortical matter. As we do that, you can clearly notice the IntelliAxis nubs which have been created by the Lenza machine to give me the exact positioning of placement of the toric IOL. This makes the placement of the IOL very very accurate, very easy. So you can notice the clear nubs on the capsule rexis margin along with the arcuate CCIs created to compensate for a lower toricity power available IOL and this trick has worked for us. We implant the IOL in the eye using hydroinsertion technique. The, the IOL is now pushed into the bag and all we need to do is align the toric markings of the lens to the exact nubs created onto the capsular axis margin or the IntelliAxis as we call them. This ensures a very accurate placement of the IOL within the bag and even the chances of misrepresentation due to parallax can be taken care of. Once the wounds are hydrated, we can now notice that the IntelliAxis is very much covering the toric marks of the IOL and also the corresponding clear corneal incisions which have been used to compensate for the undercorrected toric IOL are there. This patient was doing very well post cataract surgery and it has been more than 6 weeks and the patient is maintaining perfect vision for distance at 20-20 or 6 by 6. So this has actually proved that using CCI as an adjunct to an underpowered toric IOL which is available can be used whenever required. Thank you.